Good morning. Good morning. Are you ready? I'm not. Well, <clears throat> I learned something this morning by the aim the chil children are learning. He says, uh, teach us to share. But one question, how many of us is happy when somebody else tells us what to do and what not to do? Good questions, huh? A lot of people don't like it. Uh, don't like it. nobody uh, tell us to do. Not even God. Pe a lot of people don't like to God tell them how, what to do. And they run away when they hear something about it. But we have a good sample from Second Thessalonians, what Paul says to his brothers. And uh, by the scriptures, we know who Paul was. He's a pretty good apostle. He's a pretty good preacher. He was a pretty good missionary. But doesn't matter how, how good he is and uh, many things, but he, he still needed some, somebody else pray for him. Because all of us need a prayer. Jesus Christ used to do that. He was, he was pretty close to the Father. And he took any opportunity to talk with the Father. He, he prayed and he, for, for the others. He prayed for him. And we, he really feel everything what he says. Paul says, brothers, pray for us that the message of the word may spread rapidly and be honored. Nobody can do anything for God and for in others if God is not in us. You are here in the church this morning because God is on you. Because God's mercy is on you. Because you need it. You need God. We are not in the church because we are, we are a good persons, good people. But we are here because God's mercy, God's love. But well, like I says, many people don't want it. Not even God to interview on, on, on their lives. Many people came to church and hear the gospel, and they don't like it. But the Bible says they don't like what God says. They. They want to be in the church where they want to keep her lifestyle. They like to be the same. They don't like to be chair anything with nobody. And they don't want to learn nothing from nobody. That people never grow. That people never be ready to share anything with nobody. 
and they want to feel like uh, they know they don't need anything from nobody now, nobody else. We feel sorry for them. We are not mad at them, but we feel sorry because we know when people run and their opinions about God. Whoever refuse to accept what God have for us, what God promised, they're never going to be alive. They're going to live, they're going to be dead in here, this life, and get, they're going to be dead in the other life too. But they don't care. They don't want it. And we have to take to to be careful about that people because many of that people don't like us. They got mad because they don't understand why the Christians has the same problems they have, but the Christians are happy all the time. When when Christians have a problems, Christians like to, to 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 sing. Christians like to cheer. Christians like to 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 praise God. And Christians give God thanks for everything. For the good things and for bad things. Because anything God doing for us. He's teaching us something. He have a good reason for that. If you got sick, God have a message for you. God wants to prove his uh, love for you. If one of the, your family is unhappy, God uh, pushed you to pray for them, to ask the Lord, you know. If the sick people is going to be better, thanks God. But if not, we thank God anyway. And the people out of the church on Christians, they don't like this because Paul says not everybody has faith. You came to church because you had faith. And, and everyone They says they have faith too. They believe on God. They know there's one God with very power. The God make the heaven and the earth and everything. But they believe with their own faith. In we supposed to believe with God faith. The faith is a gift we received from God. That's the only right reason we believe in God, because it's His faith, not our faith. When you pray to God, it's necessary. For you to believe that God exists. God is a person. God is hear you. God is listen to you. God is caring about you. God is thinking about you all the time. He never got tired like we got tired. He never sleep. He's not lazy like it's some of us. 
sometimes we don't like to sometimes we don't like to work people ask me people tell me sometimes you know I got this job but I don't like it I find another job and I don't like it and I said well I I got almost 60 years working it and I never had a job that I like it I work not because I like it I work because I need things for myself, for my family. See, many of us came to church not because I like it. We came to church because we need to come to church. Because what happened when, if, if you miss one Sunday, don't come to church. You feel comfortable? No. You feel bad about it. We feel embarrassed about it. The reason we have was not enough to miss the, the, the worship service Sunday morning. It's nothing is more important than be close to God. Because all of us, we know that God's love is on us. You know, those what God did because he loved us. He gave his only son to die for us. And when you think about yourself, you find was not necessary for us. If I think in my, my mind and I feel with my heart and not with God mind and God heart, I don't understand what, why God loved us that much. Somebody of you is ready to give one of your sons to die for a bad people? For all the people who are in the jail? No, I'm not. But God did it because He loves you, because He loved me. That's why we are here. And that's why we pray. And that's why we believe in God. And that's why we share the gospel. Pastor Bush said one time, the pastor preached the gospel on the church, but the congregation supposed to preach the gospel out of church. The pastor preached a few minutes in the church, the congregation supposed to preach the gospel every day out of the church. Sometimes you don't need to talk. You don't need to say anything. But, you know, people know who is a Christian and who is not a Christian. We are like open books for the, for the bad people outside. And they know. Sometimes people say, why I'm going to go to the church to be like them, 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 them? Because many of Christians or church members, we don't live a Christian uh, life out of the sanctuary. And that's what the Paul says. Pray, pray for me. That the message of the Lord may spread rapidly and honorist. Yes, it was with you. And pray that we may be delivered from 
evil men. For not everyone has faith. May the Lord direct your hearts into God's love and Christ's perseverance. See, everything is God's property. You are the God's property. God, by you, Jesus Christ paid the price. See, that way, He promised us on Jesus eternal life. We don't be dead. Never. We're going to be dead. We're going to live forever. There's no reason to be happy. There's no reason to keep praying for those, all those uh, uh, preachers or teachers or uh, servants of God. It is. Don't you be happy when some new people came to the ch church and they like it? People, new people came to the church because they need something. They don't found it out of the church. Many people came to church because that's the last choice they had. Because they tried everything outside of the church and they don't find it. They never be happy. They feel like they don't be alive. And they come to church. And you know why? All the people, they don't came because they are good people. They came to church because God uh, loved them. Because God mercy. That's the way so many of us came to church the first time. And we received that message from God. And he says, I love you. I love you the way you are. No matter what you did in the past. Now you can be a new person. Now you can be a blessed person. You have the opportunity to live close to God. Jesus called us brothers. It's not good to know that. That makes me happy. That made me keep going. May the Lord direct your heart unto God, love, and Christ, perseverance. So, it's very important for us to have your prayers. Pray for your pastors. Are you guys praying for Pastor Burke? Are you praying for the, the all the pastors passed from this congregation, this church? Pastor Butch. How many of well I remember Pastor Butch, he was here when I came here. And he's a good man. The pastor we have now He's a hard, hard worker. But he's a young boy. See? He needs us. You need to, you have to sometimes say a word to him. But all the time, keep praying to God for him. Because we cannot do anything Nothing without God. I know how bad is my English here, but I am here because God is here. 
And if if I not not a very clearly and my English, let me tell you something. I am very clearly and honest in my love for you. Because God is in here. If you love somebody, it's because God is in you. And you have a hard time to love somebody, ask that to God. Because you need it. We not we cannot keep on life without love. See? And God is love. He loves you. And he loves every person. He loves every every man and women, children. Because he can't feel something else. Because he is love. So, if you think, if you think before yesterday, you was thinking that you, you have nothing to share with somebody, now you have something to share with somebody. Love God. And that is in your heart. Not in your mind, but it's in your heart. Nobody can stop you if you want to serve God. Amen.